Imagine a river that sustained civilizations for thousands of years. Now, the site of one of the largest engineering marvels on the planet. Welcome to Ethiopia's Grand Renaissance Dam, where barren landscapes have given way to the largest dam in Africa. A structure so immense, it's visible from space. But not everyone's celebrating this feat. Why is this project so crucial for Ethiopia's future, sparking tensions across Africa? What's at stake for the millions who rely on this water source? And can a single dam reshape the destiny of an entire region? At 145 meters tall and 1.8 kilometers wide, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam isn't just large, it's a monumental shift in Ethiopia's quest for energy independence. The dam holds back a staggering 74 billion cubic meters of water and will generate 5,150 megawatts of electricity, the equivalent amount of power generation as five nuclear power plants. That's enough power for millions of homes and industries, giving Ethiopia the boost it needs to industrialize and electrify rural communities that have long lived in the dark. The difference means that the total energy output of the entire country will more than double. This will stabilize the country's energy production and even leave enough energy capacity for distributing to neighboring countries. While Ethiopia sees this as a beacon of progress, its neighbors, particularly Egypt and Sudan, are eyeing this project with fear. Fear that their access to the Nile's water is about to be drastically cut. With a price tag of around $5 billion, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is one of Africa's costliest infrastructure projects. Financed largely by Ethiopians themselves through bonds and taxes, it represents more than just a dam. It's a symbol of national pride and self-reliance. For Ethiopia, this dam is about more than power. It's about ownership of their future, a chance to lift millions out of poverty, to industrialize and finally stand on equal footing in the region. This sounds like a good thing, right? So why is this dam considered controversial? Here's where things get complicated. While Ethiopia is celebrating its renaissance, downstream countries, Egypt and Sudan, are raising alarms, worried that the dam might reduce the flow of the Nile, their lifeblood. For Egypt, the Nile isn't just a river, it's the artery that sustains 90% of its population. Without the Nile, Egypt's agriculture, economy and entire way of life would collapse. Egypt has long been the dominant power on the Nile. Using its waters as a strategic asset, Egypt's president says the country's water resources are an existential issue. What we need to understand here, however, is that the Blue Nile starts in Ethiopia. It belongs to Ethiopia, and using the water, to the best of their ability, is the responsible thing to do. So now Ethiopia is asserting its own rights to these waters, creating a political showdown. Egypt should not complain about dams on the Nile River, especially since Egypt also built a massive dam on the Nile inside Egypt. Take a look at the Aswan Dam the largest earthen dam at the time it was built in the 1960s. Egypt, however, fears that if Ethiopia fills their dam too quickly, it could lead to water shortages that devastate its farmlands and cities. The same concerns are echoed in Sudan, where flooding and irrigation are critical to survival. But Ethiopia argues that this dam is a game changer for them and the entire region. For Ethiopia, this dam is about one thing, development. As one of the fastest growing countries in Africa, Ethiopia has a right to harness its natural resources. For too long, it has remained 
underdeveloped and reliant on foreign energy imports. Now, with the dam in place, Ethiopia has the potential to become a regional powerhouse, exporting electricity to neighboring countries and transforming its economy. But here's the key point. While Egypt and Sudan worry about water shortages, Ethiopia insists that the design of the dam won't cut off their water supply. The dam is designed to withstand a hundred years of silt buildup, and it will stabilize water flow reducing the impact of flooding and droughts downstream. And when you think about it logically, the dam will not affect the amount of water that leaves Ethiopia once the dam has been filled. If anything, the large amount of water in the reservoir will create some evaporation and probably lead to increased precipitation in the area, benefiting an otherwise arid region. Countries often fight and argue when there are fears of lacking resources, but a mega project like this will only bring benefits to a region with a history of conflicts. It's more than a dam. It's a balancing act between the past and the future, between a nation's right to develop and the environmental impacts on its neighbors. One of the dam's most important functions is to stabilize flooding. In years of heavy rain, the Nile has caused devastating floods downstream. The Renaissance Dam will help regulate the flow of the Nile, ensuring that Sudan experiences fewer floods while maintaining a steady supply of water for Egypt. During Ethiopia's rainy season, the GERD's central spillway system helps protect the dam, especially when water levels start to rise. These spillways are like the dam's safety valves, protecting the dam and surrounding areas from floods. This is a crucial safety feature, as the dam contains more water than 25 million swimming pools. We wouldn't want it to burst and come crashing down. And what about silt buildup? Over time, most dams face the issue of silt, reducing their capacity. But the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is designed with this in mind. Engineers have factored in 100 years of silt buildup, ensuring that the dam will remain effective for generations. Further developing skill sets with the local communities in the watershed areas above the dam will also make those regions more productive and lead to less silt running into the dam's reservoir. Even now, when we look at the before and after satellite photos of the massive reservoir of the dam, we can see that the landscape surrounding the reservoir is greener. Beyond water, this dam is set to power an entire region, generating over 5,000 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to make Ethiopia a net exporter of energy. Neighboring countries, from Sudan to Kenya, will benefit from a stable source of power, potentially improving infrastructure and economic conditions across East Africa. Electricity is the key to unlocking Ethiopia's potential, and with this dam, the country can finally leave behind its energy struggles and focus on growth. The dam is now past the construction part of the massive project, and now progressing into the operations part of the mission, as shared by several accounts on X. As per these reports, the dam is already generating 1,550 megawatts of electricity currently. It's a new dawn for Ethiopia and its neighbors, and while there are risks, the rewards far outweigh the risks, and it's precisely this kind of development that is needed across the continent. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is more than just a structure. It's the beginning of a new chapter for East Africa, a chapter where water, once a source of tension, can become a shared resource that benefits all. Ethiopia's right to develop is undeniable, and with diplomacy and careful management, the Nile can continue to sustain everyone, from its source to its mouth. After all, the Blue Nile starts in Ethiopia, so is it not in their right to harness the power of what they gave birth to before passing it on? While challenges remain, one thing is clear. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a testament to Ethiopia's ambition and resilience. A project of this scale will reshape the future, not just for Ethiopia, but for the entire region. Imagine that the second most populous country in the entire continent of Africa will more than 
double its energy production. This will affect livelihoods, education, healthcare, tourism and the economy at large, not to mention regional relations once Ethiopia will start providing stable electricity to needy neighbors in the region. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Ethiopia's future is rising and with it the fate of an entire region. And hopefully there will be a new renaissance for Africa at large thanks to massive infrastructure projects like these.